What are you doing? I'm really excited for this morning because I have lots to show you guys. Good morning. Good morning. It is, what is today? I think it's Friday. I think December 13th. Oh my gosh. Is it Friday the 13th? <laughs> what? Yeah, I think it is. I just really came to that conclusion moments ago. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me know in the comments if I'm right. I haven't looked at a calendar yet, but you know what? I don't believe in clickbait. Uh, I don't want to drag things out to the end of this video. So I'm just going to let you know right now. This is the giveaway. What's in here? This is the giveaway for this weekend. Um, and I'm holding the camera with my hand because I'm an idiot. No, actually, I'm not an idiot at all. Um, my, my phone that I record a lot of my morning stuff on, I don't always whip out the Nikon. But the, the little holder, the little thingy that you snap in, it, it, it keeps breaking. And I've bought a bunch of them, so I'm going to have to, like, break down and get a good one. But this, this right here, this is what we're giving away. Um, we, as in all of me. So I'm going to paint this for you guys, and I'm going to give it away. This is the toothache. It's from Johnston Lures. It's, they're out of Canada. This is a big fish bait. I want to say it runs like four to six feet. It's got a bit of a wide lip on it, maybe four to five feet, but I, I think it'll go as low as six. It's got a much wider lip on it than um, than the um, perch pattern does that they have. So just um, in the first minute and 40, 50 seconds of this video, uh, one of you guys is going to get this, and I'm going to paint it for you. But here's the catch. Here's the catch. Um, Here's what I want to do with this. So um, whoever wins it, I'm going to match the hatch for a fish in your area. So this is going to be a blank canvas until the winner gets chosen. And if you're in the United States, then I'm going to match whatever area and forage fish are in the United States that are close to you that you would be fishing for. Um, and if you're not in the United States, if you're in Norway or England or Australia or Russia or wherever it is that you are in, in the world, I will find a forage fish that matches where you are, like maybe a juvenile whale's catfish. Or we could do one even better. You could tell me what you want to put as long as it's not crazy. Um, you know, I get a little wild in my patterns, but I try and do a lot of match hatches. So you tell me whatever whatever you do winner of bait so cool um well maybe we'll leave that up to you so a lot's undecided but i am going to get that underway we're going to start uh on this video with comments maybe you could tell me where you are on the planet uh what part of the states or the world what corner you live in and then um tell me what you'd like to see me paint on this little guy so I think that's fun, right? This is Fishmas giveaway number two. So we did one giveaway, and this is the next one, and then I'll do the third one at some point soon. But we'll get through this. So this contest is going to run until next Saturday. Today is Friday. So tomorrow is Saturday the 14th, and then whatever day that is next Saturday, what, 21st, 22nd, something like that, close to Christmas. Wow. So this is going to run a week, and then we're going to do one final cool Fishmas gift giveaway. Maybe we'll do that on, on Fishmas Eve. So be thinking about it, and uh, you got to be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment below for me on where you live and uh, what you'd like to see me paint on this. I think that's what we'll do. I think that the winner should get to choose what they want me to paint, as long as it's not like wicked crazy. Like this, this is, this is my style. Look at, look at that. So much fun. Let's get into that. So we'll put you off to the side. You're gonna go home with a lucky person that enters this Fishmas giveaway. So we've got tons and tons and tons of stuff. I've burned up like four minutes and I apologize, but not really sorry. Um, this is gonna be cool. Let's let's start with this guy. This is a this is a head and this is one of the Chug and Spook Juniors, and I always when I repaint baits um, that are not assigned. Some customers want me to leave that open 
so that I can, it's just a little piece of tape I put over it while I'm painting it and then I peel it off before I clear coat it. So this is a three bar peacock bass on a Chug and Spook Junior. And this little, let's get out the law stick here. I think it's a four inch bait somewhere around there. Three and a half, four, three and a half, three and a half. Good little top water deal, single knock, tap, sits in the water, awesome. And there you have it. We've got, now this one sold this morning. I'm doing this video since it's Friday. Yeah, today's Friday. This is the uh, the Meteor. This sold this morning, so that goes away. And then this is fun. And I gotta, I gotta, we gotta be honest here. We're a very transparent channel here at Jekyll Productions. I saw something similar and kind of like freaked out a little bit in my head. Like, that's so cool. And I think it was on Grout's, it was one of his bubonic things. And obviously he's he's all over the place these days, which is awesome. But I saw the pattern and I I normally don't geek out, but it's something that I hadn't done yet. And like within like the week of me seeing it, there were like five or six other people. So take that as flattery, Chris. I, you should, I think, um, that people want to paint the stuff that you come up with. And I do. Um, this is a red onion bag, but I, I always teach people how to do what I do. So that's just, that's me. That's my spin on it. But I used a produce bag. So you guys, don't, you don't have to do like all the stencils all the time. Get creative with it. Get super creative with stuff and um, think out of the box. But yeah, I, I did. I freaked out a little bit and like, oh, that's so cool. So this is the inspiration coming from Mr. Potato Head. I'm just kidding. From, uh, from Enfest. So give his, if you guys don't already know about him, you should. And if you do know about him, go buy his stuff because it's cool. So that's my little inspirational speech this morning. I've had, lot, <laughs> yes, I've had lots of coffee. I have another one of these to match the one back there. I did a lighter version of this because the gentleman that I'm painting these for has got two different orders. Thank you very much. But um, I wanted to do one a little bit lighter, not just because I can't, copy what I do. I can. I can do that all day long, but I don't believe that there's one thing in nature that looks like any other thing in nature unless it's a clone or a twin. And usually while fish will have very similar features, their patterns are kind of like fingerprints. I think they're all different just like we are. So cool, cool, cool. This I did last night. Um, I happened to come across this in one of my, I separate everything over here by what it is and I realized that I hadn't done a popper in a while and uh, this is not sold this is available these are the I don't know why I always have such issues with focus especially on Fridays I think it's the coffee um, these eyes are off Amazon they're not anything really in particular but they are cool and there's links in the description below as to where you can get them. And you guys know that I promote Jetson. Dead Meat Customs is out there too. Um, lots of cool stuff. Good stuff. This is, uh, I don't know, what's it pattern? It's got, I've got, went a little crazy on the red onion bag and then uh, did something else over top of it. This one I'm gonna keep just because I like red in the winter. Doesn't have to be any specific pattern whatsoever, but this will get bit in my neck of the woods in the winter because we have open water in Arkansas year round. It's a little 1.5, little Dinger 1.5. And this is sort of in a darter pattern. I tried to keep it really muted colors. So it's just a reduced fluorescent orange and a reduced fluorescent blue green mix kind of deal on the 1.5 foiled. Uh, living skull fish eyes. The European Hornet, also on customer request. And this is all, this is like a hand cut stencil on the legs. I made the legs um, out of what I normally use, which is, I'll take the backing for something like this, like on this rearrange, and I'll just cut into it. And I can get a few uses out of that. It's a pretty decent little stencil. So that's where the legs came from on this. And yes, there are actually hornets out there um, that are this big. Mad clowns, lots of those, lots of mad clowns. And a 2.5, lure parts online for these eyes. In a wart. I 
I know I'm moving through these fairly fast, but only because, because, because there's lots to get through. This is old blue. All of these patterns are on the website. You can find the link in the description below, or you can just wait till the end of the video and it'll be there as well. This is the bluff craw pattern changes. Lots of gold on this. I did lots of gold on the top of this to get it to shine a little bit. Just mixed it in towards the end of the spray and that is burnt orange on top and a little bit of sepia. And then we have old red. We got old red and old blue. Red is a phenomenal color as we all know and love in the winter time and early spring. That is, I believe, all the news is fit to print this morning. You guys have a fantastic weekend. There we go. Have a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out with the channel for like five minutes. I've got a fishing video I'm going to upload this weekend. We've got this, so comment below if you want your chance. you got to be subscribed to the channel. Give me a comment below. Smash that thumbs up, and uh, one of you is going to win the pattern of your choice on this thing. So you guys take care, and I will see you on the next video. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates.